Hey, it's Ron here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a form through Airtable where you can collect information, collect photo and stuff like that. So I got a question from one of my members and she said, I'm looking to whether it's possible for my members to upload images to a folder with their name attached. For example, when I submitted by Trap Store, I put a name and then uploaded my video. I think I didn't have my name, my video, anything. I want to collect family photo from each of my members without asking them to title the file a certain way. I'm using the photos to do a member feature each week. I'm having members fill out a short survey. So I get their info features, name, kid ages, homeschool experience. So I'd like the photo to add to that feature. How to basically solve this problem using Airtable. So what you want to do is you want to go to Airtable. I'm going to open a base, start from scratch, and I'm going to do uh, data collection. Let's just call it that way. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to click on form right here. Once you click on form, you have a bunch of questions here. So first of all, you can make the name and make it required. Your name, please. And then you can do the next one. Let's do um, email address, let's say. So email your email address, please. Okay, and then let's make that also required, which means mandatory. Now you wanna do also a attachment so they can upload a photo. So for that, you wanna find the attachment option and you also upload your photo, please. Okay. And again, make this mandatory, kids ages. Okay, so you can do something like single select. How many kids do you have? And then you could do option one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's just say that's how many kids. Now, what this means is that you can basically collect one option, okay? You can also play with it and actually make it like a drop down like this, so it's kind of easier to see. Um, and then also you can do different things. For example, you can show the fields only when a certain conditions are met. So when somebody uploads a photo, only then will this particular field be shown. So you can play around with things like that. You can also limit the selection. So you can also do something like that. Um, yeah, okay, perfect. So you could do a more of a longer answer, long text. What is your home school experience? like that. Now look here, if you click on enable rich text formatting, you can hover over this and click on the question mark and it will actually explain to you what it means. Basically what this means is that you can actually have more like um, detailed text, you know, bold and hyperlink and things like that. It doesn't really matter if you want to do that or not, it's up to you and that's that. You can always add content here as well if you like and you want to make required. So when you click on this, it basically removes the field and puts it here so you can actually move them around. So let's say, you see, you could just move it back to where it was. Now this one, if you don't want it, then you say, I don't want this one. This was a mistake. I can delete it and then I can remove all and then it will basically empty the everything out. So now I can sequence it in a different way. So I can do the name and then next is the email. Let's move it up. Then I want the attachment. How many kids do you have? I'll upload the photos is the attachment one. So I'm going to get rid of this one. What is your homeschool experience? You probably want to do today's date because it doesn't automatically do the date necessarily. So what you can do is you can click on to select today's date. Um, it might, it's important because what's going to happen is when somebody submits it, then um, basically what will happen is it will actually be shown in the grid. Now, once you've got this form ready, you can change the name of the form, change this. You can, you have to be on the paid plan to change this, these two things. Now, what you can also do is at the end of the form, you can get a notification. You can also do a, a blank form five seconds later or submit another response. And usually what I'd like to do is show a thank you message and you can send them, thanks so much. Uh, thanks so much. Please um, visit the Facebook group and then give them some sort of call to action. Give them the link. Okay. Now you cannot remove this. You do a redirect to a URL after the form is submitted because it's only on the paid plan. This is what this paid plan means, but you can put the link here. Okay. So that's that. Now, 
Once somebody answers, it will actually populate all the information right here, okay? In the exact sequence that you fill this out. Now, these ones, you basically want to get rid of those, I think. If you click on those, you will actually get rid of them. Oh, the way to get rid of them, actually, is to actually get rid of them here. So you can delete the field, the field, and only be left with the form items that we got ready, okay? Once all that is done, once somebody answers, so you can click on share form. You can embed this on your website, and then you can also here on preview, or you can copy this incognito. Here is the form. Hey, hey, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you got value from this particular tutorial. This is a very typical question that I get in my tech support membership, which you can check out. There's going to be a link somewhere around here. And there's also going to be a little video where you can actually check out exactly how it is that I help people and how I answer these questions. I have a tech support membership. I answer questions in under 24 hours. I've got a support team helping me as well and over a hundred members to assist entrepreneurs just like you who are struggling with technology or don't waste your time trying to figure things out and rather ask somebody who already knows. We'll do the research for you, give you the tutorial so you can save time, save money and focus on what you enjoy doing instead of the techie stuff. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out. There's going to be a link somewhere around here and in the description. And that, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment and also subscribe to the channel so you can see other videos like this. And I'm going to show you some other videos here that might be of interest to you. That's about it. Thanks a lot. And I'll speak to you soon.